Hello! Hi. Welcome to the Strum. I'm Banjo Bon Jovi. Uh, so today, oh, we do we do have a game we wanted to play, but uh, depending on how long this other thing is going to take us, um, we'll do that in a little bit. But um, yeah, so I wanted to I, every year for the, like the last I don't know two or three years probably. Uh, we've done like a bit of a game review for like the last year and obviously it's already January 13th but um, we like to sort of go over like the games that we played and talk about what we've done uh, just to kind of I don't know sometimes I think that even in the heat of the moment of a game like you you know like I could play a game and then just like put it down and play something out and like you guys i don't know people might not even ever know what i think and i don't even think it's a good idea to say what you think right when you're finished with something like you need to have like i don't you're not talking about games or movies or anything you just need some time to like mm. like reflect mm. oh. on it and like, i know if i like it right away yeah i don't know sometimes i feel like you know i it's sometimes my opinions get worse my opinions get better as time goes on. I feel like some, I just can. I need a little bit of not a lot of time, but a, like some reflection time. So, and uh, I'm not a game reviewer. I'm not like a media person. But like, there's there's in, it's interesting um, to talk about this stuff because I think me and your opinion is going to be pretty different sometimes than other people's. Um, yeah. Uh, so I guess without further ado, we'll just start talking about the games that uh, that I played on the stream with most of them with Red Shell. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have opinions about a lot of these too. Okay. Um, let me just scroll this over here. Let's not block chat. Um, so the first game I guess we'll talk about is. Um, a game that I played at the very beginning of 2023. Um, it was called, I'm trying to pull up my clips channel here. Um, it was called Dave the Diver. Seen... Yeah, I know. Dave the Diver. Um, so I'll put my camera off too, so we don't block my other camera. But yeah, so Dave the Diver. I... I this game actually uh won a lot of reward, awards at the end of the year. It came out like very very beginning of 2023 and it was winning all these I think it won one of the game awards like best indie game oh. at the game awards. The big the big awards show. Mm -hmm. Um it's kind of funny because it sort of came out in phases. It wasn't when I played it it wasn't finished. Mm. Um, and then it got released in, com it got totally released, I think, second half of the year, probably just a few months ago. And I haven't gone back and played it. But what I did play at the time, I really enjoyed. And I thought it was really cool. Um, yeah, let's watch this clip, I guess. You collected all the materials. Good. Let's, let's try, try to create, create a, a weapon. weapon. This weapons guy, he's like a weeb. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh god. god. <laughs> and he like, he'll like, every cutscene he has when he's like building the weapons, it's like an <laughs> anime cutscene. It's like the thing like flashes. With a neat explanation like that, that even someone like you should have understood. understood. It's pretty funny. And like, the characters are like really well written and like uh, a lot of. Uh, let me turn this back on here. A lot of like really funny like uh dialogue, and then the gameplay when you're like underwater and stuff was like really good. It was just so well done. Um, it's just kind of like a pixel game. You go dive underwater. You like collect stuff. You bring it up back up, like the fish that you catch and like the materials you get, and then you take the fish to a sushi shop. And then at night you work in the sushi shop, like serving all the customers and like running around the restaurant to like give them the give them the sushi dishes. And you like you like design the menu and decide what's on the menu and like the 
and you like upgrade to like get to the next like the the better like dishes and stuff like that and then you go back out during the day and you dive and you like explore deeper and deeper and like as you get better equipment you can go deeper you can start down lower you can do things and like of course as you go down lower and lower you encounter like bigger things you like you know you like run into like the giant squid and like the mega sharks and like and then you it, you kind of discover like a, a civilization of like underwater like people and you like start talking with them and they like give you missions and stuff and it's like it's really it was it just it went so much further than i thought and it was so much depth in the game and then i finished going through and i was like oh that was only like half so pretty crazy that it continued on even after that and it's one of those games where i don't know if i'll do it on stream but i would like to go back and play it again and kind of finish it up or whatever or like play the other part of it because i thought it was really good uh so yeah that was dave the mm. diver second game is something i know that red shell really liked oh loved it yeah um this might have been your number one game well i don't know i don't remember all of them um so the next one was a yeah, game so called fun. unpacking um i don't think i have any unpacking clips here not but really clippable yeah, it's not a super clippable game. Yeah, this is fun. But fine. it was a game about, um, it was a game about, like, basically, like, little, little, very light puzzle game, like, that involved unpacking boxes and, like, putting them in your, the new place that you're living. Yeah, it wasn't too hard, which was good. Yeah, it um, wasn't too hard. Cute, fun. Um, just relaxing. Yeah. I don't know. It was good. I liked it. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. I like doing. I like cleaning in games. Yeah, it's fun. To, it feels satisfying. I wonder if you would like a game like Power Wash Simulator, where you're like just chilling and like cleaning off like things and like making them all nice. Mm. Like a lot of people on Twitch play games like that. So it's just to chill. It's like for a certain type of mood. Mm -hmm. It's really satisfying getting the boxes. Like in real life too. I like unpacking boxes. Yeah. I like organizing in real life. That's probably why I like it. Oh, I didn't know you could click the radio <laughs> and turn on different music. <laughs> or pl I didn't know you could do that either. <laughs> I guess we never watched the trailer, or wish we would have known those yeah. things. You sort of like, as time goes on, you. Oh, put oh. the pajamas into the pillow. That's not even <laughs> <really>. <laughs> you put the toaster in the tub. You get a sticker. Nice. What? There's kind of a little story, sort of, that's told through the through the trailer, or not through the trailer, through the game, yeah, like on fun. the places that you're that you're going and stuff. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah, great. Okay, Red Shell really liked that one. Hey, Grim Days. Hey, Grim Days. Uh, next one. I don't know if this is the time that I played Amnesia with you for the first time because I feel like that was last year. I think this is when I went back and played Amnesia by myself. You did not like this game. Yeah, I hate this game. <laughs> you played for about the first 20 minutes, and you're like, this is stupid. Um, <laughs> uh, it's boring. You know, this game, the same. This, this game that All everyone... All the rooms look the same. <laughs> this game that everyone loves. Um, That's because people like boring stuff. Yeah, sometimes they do. That's true. <laughs> I mean, you're not right, wrong. I can't stand it. Don't make me do the same thing over and over. I can't do that. Yeah. Anyway, I think, I don't know if that was really in 2024 or not, but mm -hmm. I did play a good chunk of Amnesia. I didn't beat it. I got probably three quarters of the way through it. I do, I wanted to play enough of it to where I understood why it was such a critically acclaimed game. And I did get to a point of Amnesia where I felt like I understood what was so scary about it 
it was it did get really scary uh and i don't i was trying it was actually hard to put my finger on why like i have my i but i felt my heart racing i felt like my pulse increase i got you know i was like actually like nervous and there is just a i all i can say is like the game did a really good job it's a it's a small developer that made that game they did a really good job of just kind of making this it wasn't like jump scares or anything but it was just like the ambiance of the whole place like the sounds you hear especially the sound design it's like you'll hear this sound like from far away and it's like and you're like what was that and then and then you'll and then just like almost the the number of times that you're actually in like a dangerous situation is like low but like the suspense like they play on your suspense like so much oh yeah i think they did i think that that was a i could see why that was like such a sleeper hit for a lot of people um so but i mean the dark descent and that came out like years and years ago like 10 or 15 years ago i think so Mm -hmm. it it's pretty old but at this point but i do understand i do see why it got such crazy good like reception back then for for that type of game um then uh next game that i have on my list is a game called i don't even know do you even remember this game Somerville. I, we played this game together. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was okay. Six out of ten. It was weird. Remember how weird it was? Mm, it's fine. I felt like it was weird. Um, um, it was like those other ones that were the little silhouette of the boy, but this one wasn't as good as those. Oh, yeah, not nearly yeah. as good as... You're talking about... Uh, um... Uh, shoot. The Play Dead games. Limbo. His idea is not good. <laughs> it's oh. not a good idea. <laughs> My idea is good. No, it's not. <laughs> they already have it. No, 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 no. You don't know. He, you don't know the idea. The cat but... restaurant? Shh. <laughs> let me tell him. <laughs> they already have something. Like We're talking that. about this game right oh, now. Cat, One cat second. Day. One second. <laughs> It's it's a good idea. Wait, no, let me describe it to you, Grim Days. One second. I thought this game was okay, but then remember the ending was like weird. You like wander into like I don't want to ruin it or or spoil it for anybody, but there's like you like wander into like the big machine and like the the true ending was only unlockable if you like had done this really specific pattern. Remember? Mm-hmm. I was like I hated that. <laughs> So I felt like this game did a pretty good job, but definitely missed the ending for me at least. Um, so that was Somerville. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's pause. Six we'll talk. Let me let me pause and talk about my idea. So we were sitting in a restaurant um, as we were making our way back from Michigan. We uh, we stopped at like uh, a mall area where there's a ton of places to eat, and we're like, let's just go in. And we had this. We actually had this place that we had been to that was downtown and it was pretty nice mm-hmm. and we're like why is it here that's weird and like, like 21 and then it was yeah it was nice very restaurant. it was like very like not kid friendly the one downtown and then we were like looking at our you know looking on the phone and we're like oh it says this one's kid friendly and we like looked around and looked inside it just looked like a normal restaurant we're like oh okay and um we tried going somewhere else but it was so busy so we ended up going to this place and we sat all down and we were talking about we were talking about the restaurant and I think I think Reginald you said like why aren't there more themed restaurants? Mm, mm. And uh and so we started talking about themed restaurants and I was like, Yeah, there should be more themed restaurants for sure. Like people would go to a themed restaurant. Mm-hmm. Like I guess there's a lot of themed restaurants in Tokyo. Mm. We didn't go to any when we were there. Um we we're we were we definitely were doing like the first time Japan trip when mm-hmm. we were in Japan. We weren't trying to do stuff like that, but maybe when, maybe if we go back, we'll we'll just try to go to one or something like that. There's a robot themed restaurants in Hot Spring. I enjoyed it. Oh, good, robot good. Theme. It usually like I always think of like the and this is kind of I think this is true in Japan too. I always think of the uh, the themed places as like they're 
their food's probably not good Mm -hmm. because they're really relying a lot on that theme to like bring people in not their food yeah so but uh so here's my idea though okay the food was not good (laughs) good yeah okay you can't have both you can't have both Mm. that's funny um okay so (laughs) this my idea so it's a cat themed restaurant right okay that's not that cool of an idea but okay and you said this already it was a cat themed cat restaurant yeah cat themed restaurant okay um and then so but above the restaurant is an actual cat adoption like center and in the ceiling there's like gerbil tubes that like kind of come down and around and through the restaurant and the cats are walking through like in these like little play areas and gerbil tubes above you so they never come into the restaurant because that would be like a uh, a health problem Mm -hmm. right but you might see a cat and you're like oh i want to adopt that cat and then you can like leave the restaurant and go up like the other uh, door (laughs) and like (laughs) get the cat right and like everyone would come to see the cats and they would want to eat there and if the and it's like there's there's like little gerbil tubes with the cats running around and like sleeping up there what happens when a cat gets stuck in there how do they get it out well, it's not like it's inaccessible. Like, there's there's a way to get down to get them. Mm. You just have to like that's just an engineering problem. Mm-hmm. You'd have to you could you could like lift the tubes out or something. Well, if they already have that's... that. It's called a cat cafe. No, a cat cafe is different. Then you can ca- adopt the cats after you're done playing with them. Yeah, easily to disassemble. Exactly. Also, they get all dirty. It'd just be really gross looking. You don't want to look. At yeah, that you'd, when have you're to, you'd have to. You'd have to. <laughs> well, you would have put the litter box in there. You'd put no, the litter cats, box up in somewhere. They would go and then they'd track the litter into the little tubes. You, know you would have would. to clean. Yes, you would yeah. have to have people that clean the tubes. You would have to be able yeah. to remove them. You would have to be able to do that stuff. You know, if there's like a glass floor that you're looking up, or if like, you know, there's a, or even if there's like a screen with like a video of like the cat area or whatever, like people whatever but like you would yeah you would have to have people that take care of the cats you'd have to be able to clean the stuff you'd have to look at keep it like well kept i mean we went to the i mean those those like little mini pigs were probably not very clean either no. but like that place is well maintained and clean it's fine. it was fine it felt like somebody's house it did feel like somebody's <laughs> house we went to a mini pig cafe when we were in you japan guys, that was, was funny kind of funny um yeah so i think or or instead of cats you could do mini pigs That'd be even dirtier, probably. Yeah. Think of any names. Oh, oh the name for the you, restaurant? You would need a really good name. Yeah. Uh, Cat Tubes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. Tube Cat. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it would be called. Mm-hmm. Isn't there, like, a, uh, isn't there, like, a internet, like, cat called, like, Long Cat? He's like long. Like there's a isn't that a thing? Am I just making that up? Long cat is long. Yeah, this picture of this cat was like an internet thing, right? Long cat. Long cat. I mean he looks like a normal cat just being stretched out. <laughs> this cat, yeah. He's so long. He's just standing there. They're stretching him out. He's a normal cat. He it became popular in Japanese image board. And was nicknamed Nobi- no, Biko, no, Nobiko Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that long, but I don't know. That looks like a normal cat to me, but uh, whatever. The arms the arms of this person. Maybe it's just a big cat. Anyway, so that was, uh, I don't know how we got us. Long cat, that wouldn't work. But he, the long cat would do really well in those tubes, though. You can get a plushie of long cat. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, our daughter has this long cat. Plushie. Plushie. Mm-hmm. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, mm. okay, back to games. 
that's my idea. I don't think it was as I was I was really excited about that idea at the time, which is why I mentioned it. I like this idea. It has legs. Good. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> we do have to think of a name. It would descend into utter chaos, filth, filth and then no one would eat there. Oh yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, our daughter has one too. They're cute. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're good like cuddle stuffed animals for bed. <laughs> um. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, how many are there? Oh my gosh! I know we played a lot. <laughs> so, uh, next we can talk about we can talk about the next two at once. Okay. Um, we did play. I'm on observation duty. Uh, a couple times. I think we liked. I would say we liked the fifth one. Seven out of ten. Um, I don't know if I'd call this a game. You wouldn't call this a game. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'd call it an activity. Puzzle activity. A puzzle activity? <laughs> Let's look at this, though. I have to admit that you did a pretty good job on that one. Light. No, I, I said that one, I got that one. I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> I said it first. Let's go back. You did a pretty good job on that one. Prison light. light. No. I said, <laughs> see, I said there's a, yeah. and then you're like, light, no. and you insert it, so I noticed it first. You're adding too many things. You're no, adding too many words. What do you mean? I you was, only need one word. You only need one word. And I said L, even I said the L in light first. I was just saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that mm. one, too. No, I, I said that one. I said that one. I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> That was a funny one. Um, let's see this one. This one. This one too. Yeah, it was like it was like that one. You're right. Oh no, this is not the same. Um, Did we have any other um, observation duty? Yeah, that's not a game. Okay, next. Pentiment. Oh, Pentiment sucked. I don't remember. We did that. not like Pentiment. You which did. Is, you especially did one? not like what Pentiment. I don't want to even it? talk about it because what? you're gonna be like, it was terrible. What is it? Which one was it? <laughs> I'm gonna get like punched in the face. Why'd you make me play it? Pew, pew, pew. It was. Uh, you don't. You do not like this game. Why do I have to? What? What? You did not like this game. Hate this game. Two out of ten. <laughs> I also didn't really like this game. Um, Can't stand having to talk to people. <laughs> I feel like I. So I bad. feel like you needed to be interested in this subject mm -mm. to like this game. Yeah, probably. And like, I will admit that if I was in a particular mood that I would have gotten into this, maybe. Maybe. But it was not a good stream game, first of all. Terrible stream game. <sighs> so boring. Because it was so boring. It's like, I could have seen someone, like, wanting to see what was going on and, like, where the story went, like I guess. But an encyclopedia. That's it was a little like. bit like that, yeah. yeah. I also did not like this. I think I would give it a 3 out of 10. Yeah, the the, art, that's, the that's cool. why I gave it a two. I would would have given it a zero. That was cool. But the the fact that it looks like little cutouts and it's like two D and three D, that was kind of interesting. So that's why I got a two. Yeah, and we didn't really get into a lot of this stuff. There's like all these puzzles and things. Like we didn't even play it that long. So I think. Really, the only valid criticism we can give this game is that the beginning was not great. Yeah. It did not catch our attention enough. It did not grab more, us to, like, more exciting the, get us to beginning. play this more.
I mean, they make it look really cool in the trailer, but I didn't. We never got to any of this stuff. No. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I guess... I, I Though I did not like that game, especially the beginning, the first act of the game was like... Mm. Yeah. Um, I guess... Uh, um, for one? a little while, we won't talk about this for too long. I know that me and Cademan played a little bit of Dark and Darker, which is the first-person dungeon crawler that's like a uh, multiplayer kind of procedurally generated um like you you get put into a dungeon and you like have to loot it and like get money out of it and you have to like get it's an it's a um extraction it's basically like a, a mix between like an extraction shooter game and like and like a um it's hard to explain to someone that hasn't played that type of game before but um it's not on Steam anymore. I got removed because oh. of uh, various reasons. Why? <laughs> There's like this big controversy around the game. Like, uh, I think there was a dev that got fired from something else and that went to Dark and Dark Darker. And then he was accused of stealing assets to put in Dark and Darker. But then they said that no, they didn't. And then basically, because of all of this stuff, it got like it got to the point where like there was like court orders to like shut it down and no. like not host it. And okay. so then they were like having to and some of those were successful. I don't know where that game or the legal status of that game is at this point because they were having to host the game to be downloaded from like Discord. Like you had to go to their Discord and like download it directly from them mm. to like even play the game. Okay. And it was like crazy popular for a while and people still played it um after the fact because it was like okay there's legal trouble but there's not it's not clear who's in the right here or what's going on or at least it wasn't clear to me hmm. um so i don't know if like anything came out about the if they did actually take anything or or like you know there was some there were some pretty heavy accusations of like basically like copyright infringement or, or theft or whatever so hmm. not great for their stuff um another one that we played uh is we played the dead space remake um i know i played this on my own time um after we played it i don't know did you play this game with me at all mm. or did i just play this game i don't know um i don't think i have any clips of it i i just know that i played it um um i don't know what that one was dead space yeah yeah we play i played it it's a horror game so i think we played it together i don't think you were that into it um and then i think i ended up playing on my own mm. it's a remake of a really well-made good game from back in the day it was good i did not finish the game i should have I was overcome by things at the time, and I kind of feel, this is one of those I regret that I didn't actually close this game out. It was really well done. Mm -hmm. Like, this is another example of, like, a remake done well, um, kind of like the Resident Evil remakes. Mm -hmm. I would put it at the same, maybe not the same level as those, because those are pretty much, like, top-notch, the best of the best, um, but... I think Resident Evil, Dead Space, uh, the, um, the, uh, what's the game where you, uh, you climb on the big guys, like, um, uh, they remade that back in the day, um, shoot. Resume browsing for Long Cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Uh, um, there's, like, uh, like... Oh boy, I'm gonna have our I'm gonna have our time like even thinking of like what to search for in this. There's this game where like you just fight. Um, it was like a PS3 game 
where you just fight bosses. Uh, I feel like this is shown right here in this YouTube video. I'm No, not Elden Ring. Show me. Show me. In this video. Shadow of the Colossus. Gosh, that was what I was trying to think of. Shadow of the Colossus. Um, that remake was also really good. So I would put, like, yeah, Dead Space is on that same level. Some remakes really stink. Like, like studios don't really put a lot of effort into them. I feel like that's kind of changing. Um, and I, I hope they do more like that one. Um... Uh, I guess the next on my list, I put, uh, GTA RP. Um, I did play a little GTA RP. I guess I'll just probably stop and say that, like, GTA, yes, the GTA remakes were, were panned. Yeah, they were ported from something crappy and panned, like, relentlessly, so badly. Um... That was like a no effort, and like people were very upset because a lot of stuff that Rockstar has put out in the last few years has been really good, and then they did that and was like, Ugh. like mm -hmm. is is Rockstar going the way of some of these studios that seem like they kind of lost their way? And uh, I mean, yeah, but then I think people, it's hard to say that like the difference between something like Red Dead Redemption Two which is, like, everyone just thought it was the most amazing thing ever, and, like, GTA Remix. It's like, okay, maybe not. It's too soon. It would be too soon for everyone to just, like, mess up that badly. So I, they clearly just didn't put any effort into it. So yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Um, GTA, though, uh, speaking of GTA, I did play a little bit of No Pixel this year up until, I think, about March or so. Um just occasionally here and there. Uh, you know, GTA is like one of those things that like I every so often get an itch to play it and I want to play it. But to be honest, it's kind of like it just it's hard. It's really hard for me to like play that game when there's so many restrictions. It's like if the if if my life is a is a if we're doing like a Venn diagram, my life is this and GTA role play on no pixel is this. It's like the, they cross over just very barely. <laughs> and I think that there was like when I was playing a lot of GTA RP and I was doing that, I was kind of doing it in like the bubble of this is the only thing I'm going to play. And I'm going to like kind of push things around in my life to make it happen and i don't think that really worked for me so um it and so that that's really what was what made it difficult um i do i do every so often have an idea of like getting back on and maybe i will a little bit here and there in the future but like it's it's not going to be i can guarantee it's not going to be like uh oh i'm just going to play gtrp for like every stream for like the next three months or something it's like that's not gonna happen because there's just so many other games to play and there's so many other games that i can enjoy and it's like there's there's just several reasons like the number one reason being like timing um like i don't have time to like sit there in a queue and wait for like to be selected and then when i do get in i think a lot of times it feels like there's nothing happening and there's like a lot of waste of time like nothing's going on which stinks and then not only that um i feel like i feel like uh, a lot of the people that came by and liked my stream um before gta i feel like then i played too much gta and people weren't really interested in watching it and so then like they left and it's like well that wasn't good i don't really want to like make people feel like they're not welcome or something or like I'm only playing, I'm an exclusive, like, one game streamer or something. I'm not. Like, I want to play other games, so. And then the other thing is, like, I want to play more games with Red Shell, and, like, that is a single-player, 
like you're in it kind of game and also like it's not very good for streaming to like a small group of people either because i can't really talk when i'm like talking with it's like a lot of multiplayer games like for any streamer that's playing a multiplayer game they're not they're not going to be talking to you in chat they're going to be talking to the people they're playing with and there's a lot of talking in role play um so it's just hard to it's like hard to make all of those things work with role play uh with gta role play and there's other reasons too but like i won't get into here but it's it's just there's <laughs> it's just not great it's just not great for me um and I, I realize that uh, every so often I do like turn on a GTA RP stream and I and I and I watch it. I've watched some like I've watched some Japanese GTA RP streams. It's pretty funny to like watch people in GTA like role playing characters, but they're speaking Japanese, and I'm like trying to understand what they're saying. That's been kind of funny on Twitch uh, to to try to do that. Um, and we'll talk about more like the Japanese stuff, like because I think I have do. I have some other, I have the Japanese learning games that I was trying to do. Uh, the next game, we'll, we'll, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to a little left. That, that was kind of in the middle of the year. Um, we play this game called Florence. Oh, nine out of 10. Liked. Liked, liked Florence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Florence was a really interesting one. I'm trying to remember what the gameplay of Florence was. Fun little. Was it uh, just puzzles? something off. Uh, click on something. They're having an argument. Click on the argument in the right order. Just fun little like clicking. Loved it. Great. Nine out of ten. Yeah, this was cool. I really like the art style of this game. Yeah. It was like really artsy. Mobile game. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I guess it was a mobile game. Yeah, I guess that would make sense because you're like swiping things and like cleaning stuff off and like yeah. Probably yeah, a it's game. kind of like a little Making bit of puzzles. a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the gameplay wasn't like that particularly engaging, but it, there was stuff there. Yeah, I, I think you liked were, it. You liked it a lot more than I did. I liked how when they were arguing, you like the things changed color and shape, and you had to like try to fit them in. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it was good. I, I. I think that I appreciated it for what it was. I don't think it was the best game in the world. But it was like it was a little too light on gameplay. And I think that the gameplay elements were kind of like so simplistic that I wanted something a little more. Um I like a phone game apparently. I liked yeah, apparently. Yeah. Like I liked unpacking way more in terms of like cuz that felt like a puzzle. Mm. And I the story was very subtle. The story was very heavy in Florence. Like, yeah. it was actually, like, pretty, um, yeah, like, in your face. Yeah. Um, so. Good story. But it was a good story. Well, it was kind of a sad story, but it was, yeah, it was good. good. It was really good. Um, okay, the next game, which I know that we like this one. Uh, <laughs> is this the camping one? Yeah. Yeah. This is the quarry. This is the quarry. Silly. Uh, did I, did I actually, do we have any clips from the quarry? I guess we didn't. I'm surprised about that. Yeah. We just made fun of it the whole time we were playing. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. It was yeah. Fun. It was fun to make fun of. Yeah, it was fun. I I like I really like horror movie. It was really like a bad horror movie. Yeah. But it was I mean, that's like the fun of all these games. I feel like the the makers of this game Welcome to the show. The makers of this game, uh, who is it? What are they called? Oh, stop it. See how Steam plays your trailer when you... Super massive games. Um, when you make the screen big, it just auto-plays it. Um, what is going on here, man? There's like... There's like a balance with these super massive games. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought the last one was kind of weak. That mm -hmm. we played. I just wasn't interested in the military aspect, so I was like, eh. Yeah, yeah we could talk about that one too while we're yeah. talking about this one. I thought this one was way better mm -hmm. than um, House of Ashes. Mm -hmm. House of Ashes was like, eh, I, I don't really get it. It was kind of weird. I there's a balance of like this is so campy um, that it's stupid, <laughs> and like I don't want, I don't care about it. Yeah. versus like if it gets like a slightly better and that you can enjoy the campiness of it and 
and kind of laugh about it while we're playing it while also being somewhat engaged in like what's happening i think that's really the key that's like the special balance that i think these games really go for and the oh gosh there's like music in this mm -hmm. well i'm just gonna turn the <laughs> i'm just gonna turn the sound off my bottle get my bottle get like muted mm -hmm. but uh yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. Yeah, it's good. I liked it. It uh It was kind of funny. There's actors that like were in other like stuff. Like real actors, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's like this true for a lot of the super massive games. Yeah. Um the Kel Camp theme was pretty funny. I mean, we shot that guy's arm hand off. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. She just died right away, one of the characters. Like, I feel like we had, like, some pretty interesting, like, results. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny how, like, this one was, is outside of the, the anthology they're doing. And I, I always feel, feel like the theme of the anthology was, like, there's nothing supernatural actually going on. And I guess in the last one, it was like, there's aliens, you know? It's yeah. like, not supernatural, but aliens instead, which, yeah. I don't know. Those are real now. So. Those are real, yeah. yeah. Aliens are real. You've seen those pictures from those little guys in, in Mexico. Yeah, they're real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, next one is a really good one. Um, I really like this. I don't know if you ever played any with me. But uh, there's one guy that came, uh, one of the pe people that kept coming by my stream asking if I was playing this more. Um, mm. It was it was pretty pretty fun. You have to like dig down below your dome. Mm. Let me try to explain this really quick. No, so there's like a dome here, I didn't play this. and like every like two minutes there would be a wave of enemies coming at you. Mm. And down below, there's all these tunnels that you're digging, and you're finding resources, and you're bringing them back up, and then you use those resources to, like, upgrade your dome to, like, defend it. Okay. And so you're just digging deep, and then so you're upgrading, like, how fast your guy can move to go get stuff, and you're upgrading your dome, and you're kind of, like, trying to balance it. And... And... It's good. It was very, very good. Like, this is a cool game to just waste time. Yeah, you just like... Yeah. It was very compelling. I agree with that. Compelling is a really good way to like... Yeah, a really good way to describe it. And it's like, there's all these different modes that had like really good replayability value like there's all these different ways of playing it you can play it in a different style you can play it like this you can play it like that you can go to a different planet you can have like a different upgrade tree it's like it was cool and it felt like really well balanced it was it was very well done i was impressed with that one for sure that was great um i guess we can really briefly talk about valheim um we we played a little bit of valheim did you play valheim with us i thought you played this time with us a bit. I don't think so. Yeah, you were getting like lost in the woods and like oh, what well, we like were every game. <laughs> building stuff. I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see if you remember. If I show you, maybe you'll remember. I thought you played a little bit with us this time. This looks like a new trailer. I don't remember this. Yeah, we didn't get to the we didn't play enough to like see the new biome in the Coffee game. Stain. <laughs> That's not a very good name. Do you don't remember this? No. So me, Soul, Ankh, Rob, and I think Tank played a little bit, Cademan played a little bit. Um this time as we came back, um I think uh Cademan like was like heavy into it. Yeah. And like had all, you know, he was like, and I would just create a server and let it sit out there and people could log on whenever they felt like it. 
And of course, like, Cade Man was, like, running way ahead and doing everything. Oh, that was the one where he was, like, finding ways around not doing the thing in the order that you needed to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was, like, I was, like, a little bit, like, Cade Man, we gotta do this together. And it was, like, he was, like, out there just, like, building teleporters, like, all over the world. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, ah, no. He's, like, but I haven't found the next item yet. I've just found a way to, like, start mining silver, like, with this random hack. I'm, yeah. like, what? Yeah, you'd, like, throw rocks at people, and then you could get the next. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. like, that's pretty creative. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, he was funny. Um, but... We had a good time, like, playing this game. Like, the first time around, we played through it to the very end. This time, we kind of stalled out on it, and we never got to the very end part. Um, and that's probably mostly my fault. So, <laughs> like a yeah. lot of things. <laughs> I got to stay organized and keep everyone together. Like, if you don't plan it, playing no community come. games is my yeah. favorite thing to do. It's, like, always the best. So, I don't know why I try to not do that sometimes or get either. away from it yeah. i think sometimes it's just kind of i don't know it's just like life and stuff happens and i can't it's hard for me to commit to be there like consistently but cope. it's one of those yeah copium <laughs> we were trying to explain what cope meant to our cope, daughter <laughs> copium and coping is it was funny yeah um we played Dredge. You really did not like Dredge. I also didn't really like Dredge that much. Um, do you remember Dredge at all? You don't remember Dredge. You were like, this is boring. We played this a little bit. You like have a little tugboat and you're going around to these oh, cities. Another, talk to people. Yeah, I don't like this. And you're like kind of going around like finding scrap and three out of ten salvaging stuff. There's these little mini games. They're fine, but they're not that like the the little mini games were like not that great. Mm. It was kind of creepy. Cute. The, the the game was kind of creepy, um, and I played it for that reason for like the horror side of it, but it wasn't super scary either. So, I don't know. I didn't have a lot of connection with that game, I guess, when I played it. And I didn't play too much of it, and I stopped. Maybe it was cool, like, later in the game, and maybe the story got, like, way better. But mm -hmm. I think there seemed like there was some stuff there, but and maybe they've updated it and made it a lot better. But at the time, it just felt, like, okay. Mm -hmm. It was For me, it was, like, a solid five. Like, maybe a little below five. <laughs> so, uh, what's the next one? Oh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I played a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom on stream. That's a game that I played mostly by myself, like, just on the Switch. I know, yeah, Redshield hates Zelda games, but and I love them. They're, like, probably my some of my favorite games, my favorite franchise, like, outside of the Dark Souls games. So I really, really love it. Um, Tears of the Kingdom is so creative. It is like the whole building um, aspect of that game is crazy. I think that... It's not Fortnite. <laughs> it's not building structures. You're building like robots and like machines mm. that like you can drive and stuff. It's crazy. And it's so creative and it all works. And like, I just love that the last two Zelda games, they've, like, created these systems, and then people have taken those systems and, like, built things that no one could have imagined. Mm. It's, like, I love when game developers do that. They, like, oh, I'm not going to try to... I'm going to create a system, and I'm going to, like, create some, like, a way to... I'm going to have ideas about how to use this system, but the system is so free to, like, change and do things mm -hmm. that you now can do crazy stuff. It's like how Minecraft, like, no one imagined that people would be building, like, Minecraft is, like, the perfect example of this, of, like, people are building, like, actual computers in Minecraft using, like, the redstone circuits. That's crazy to me that people are able to do that. And, or, like, they're building, they're just building the most ridiculous things that, like, probably the dev 
the devs like never even thought of. They're like, how did they do this? We all we did was create this little circuit thing, and like a little, uh, you know, a thing that pushes people up, and somehow someone made like a piston motor or something. It's like, I don't. It's it's crazy to me. Um, and I think in, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, they they're doing that in this like super open world there's so much like character and like um and and i'm still playing it i i've been playing it for i i saved it to play when i went to a big long a big long like business trip that i was on and i played a ton of it and then i saved it again till we went to japan and i played a ton of it then and then now i'm now after i got back from japan i started playing a little bit here and there but I've still got more. I've. It's like the first game. I'm like, I probably put like a, more than a hundred hours into it. I don't know how many hours I put into this one, but I'm happy to keep playing it for as long as there's more game because it's just so much fun. So, yeah, I can't. I can't say like I think that Tears of the Kingdom. I'm looking at this list now. That's probably my game of the year, if I had to pick a game of the year, um, for me. So. Uh, I'm, I'm looking down on this list here at the other things that are on here and I'm like, there's some other good ones for sure, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking I mean, it's it's probably between that and Lethal Company, to be honest. <laughs> so, and I probably would p- pick Tears of the Kingdom because Lethal Company isn't even complete yet. So, um, I've had some really fun times playing Lethal Company too, but um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, the next one that Krim Days mentioned earlier was a little to the left, um, which was a really fun little. I like the puzzles in this one way better than Florence. Um, yeah, this, is cute. this was cu- fun. Cute, cute. This like actually was really fun to try to Nine solve these puzzles. Nine out of ten. I, yeah, I, I agree. I was like a little to the left is eight or nine out of ten. Probably eight for me, just because arrangements. By sorting, I feel like and tidying up household objects. it was a little short. I feel like you could have I done more. I didn't like that level. Yeah, I know. It's I had to fix that one on my own. As puzzles are hidden in plain sight. We ended up 100%ing this game. Solutions. There are three to find in this level. Oh, there's also this mischievous cat that will show up, and it likes to get in your way. <laughs> the game takes a little bit of inspiration from our cat in <laughs> objects found in our home. The noodles. <laughs> so, come spruce up the place in this tidy puzzler, a little to the left. Tidy puzzler. Is that that's like definitely a genre that Red tidy Shell's puzzler. into? into. Tidy puzzler. Yeah. <laughs> tidy I puzzler. Like, I like tidy puzzlers. Yeah. Cozy tidy puzzlers. Cozy tidy mm-hmm. puzzler. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> Recommend all the cozy tidy puzzlers. Um, mm-hmm. No, I like that game. I like that game a lot. I think between the three that we mentioned before, I think Unpacking was my favorite. Um, the just because. Story was good. It, yeah, it and and it was like. Didn't have a story. And it was like like. There was much more of a conversation starter with unpacking. Mm-hmm. Um, like you're talking about, oh, they she has these games or like, oh, this is the way you arrange like your toothbrushes in the bathroom or something. And then like we start talking about like the best way to do it or something. It's like there's a lot of like good little discussions that took place in that. Like that was good for like uh, to play together, I mm-hmm. guess, because that's how we're going to be playing these games. So it's it just made for a uh, fun discussion in that sense. Um, I'm looking here at all the clips, and I'm like, well, I got Resident... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I got that one. There's some Star Wars... Oh, did we ever talk about... Oh, no, we haven't yet. Bread and Fred. Mm. You did not like this game mm. a ton. Nah. Um, I didn't play it much beyond... Frustrating. What... I didn't play it much Minus beyond. Minus five points for frustration. Minus five points. Are we yeah. starting at ten? Yeah. Okay. I'd say four. So four out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, Brett and Fred cute, was cute name. Cute. Plus one. Cute little 
Penguin guys. FG presents Red and Fred Super Duper Ultra Redux Mixtape. Embark what on is this? new mission to I feel like look at the original trailer. Oh, you can play online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the original trailer? Show me the original trailer, Steam, please. How about this one? This is the announcement trailer. This is fun. I like this game's idea, but it was very frustrating. You're tied together, and you had to swing and, like, make your way. It didn't work a lot of the time. It was very frustrating. I feel like we weren't willing to. There's fish. I feel like we weren't willing. You can play with one player and like have a rock, <laughs> and you throw the rock and stuff. Kind of funny. Oh, you can like restart at a flag. That's nice. Got to a flag. No, we didn't. I was dragging you. See how that little guy dragged you, and that's how I felt when we were playing it. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I learned. Uh, I think I learned something in the controls after I played by myself for a little while. That was like something we weren't doing. Um, that would have helped a lot. <laughs> mm. That we were very frustrated with when we were playing. So some of it, I think. Some of our frustration could have been solved with a little bit better uh, tutorial in this game, because I feel like there was a few things like how to how to like hold on and like climb up or pull someone closer or like that weren't super obvious. I think we discovered a few of them after some frustration, but when I played by myself, like the next day, like not on stream, I was I found that there was a few other things that we didn't really know or figure out. So. Um, I just don't remember what those were right now. I think it was a lot to do with like when something was hanging and you're like trying to pull them up mm. and like how to pull up um, when you're doing that. There was, there was a way to do that and we weren't doing it. So mm. anyway, so anyway, I think a, a better tutorial would have fixed that game. Also, it was too frustrating for us uh, to play. Uh, the next game I was really not impressed with, um, Killer Frequency. I don't, do you remember this? Nope. Probably because we only played it one night and we we're like, yeah. Rated T for teen. Oh, blood. Yeah, it was not great. If you're listening to this, I'm probably dead. You're at a radio station and you're trying to what tell. The hell? Tell the people the on the radio that were calling in, like how to avoid him. Back in the 50s, went around in a freaky mask, killed about a Do you remember this now? In Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. It was weird. Money. We have a caller. I don't. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen. I mean, I thought this game was fine, but I didn't think it I... definitely didn't really catch us. Yeah. And I didn't care enough about what was going on to like keep playing it's like uh, I was like I just I don't know I was not invested after after a decent amount I feel like we gave it a really good chance on mm -hmm. that first day we got into it but I don't know maybe it was just kind of like the way that it it became sort of a I'm just talking to people on the radio and telling them what to do mm -hmm. and it and so then it became just like a little choose your own adventure like dialogue choice thing. And like yeah. then like the stuff around the radio room and like the stuff like out in the studio like just seemed meaningless. I don't know. I felt it felt really for whatever reason it didn't it didn't click with me. I do think there was like something I, I think a lot of people probably thought this game was cool and I, I don't I don't like I can see why, but at the same time it just, it didn't grab me enough. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine spending time just talking to random people that tune in to be entertained by you. <laughs> I know, it's weird. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, I, I didn't like that one. Yeah, I didn't really like that either. Yeah. 
Um, I guess at this point, uh, I... Um, I wrote down that I, this is a, the point when I started my VOD channel because um, we, we, uh, I, I thought that it would be easier to organize my VODs if I was doing that. And then on my regular YouTube, I was just going to put edited content. And that's been fine. I, I think that's worked out fine. I might actually start streaming more on YouTube soon. Um, or streaming also on YouTube. I'm going to try to do the multi-streaming thing. I might try to figure that out this weekend. So um, I would like to do more YouTube stuff when I have time. I don't have any time because, frankly, YouTube falls down on the priority list and in the many of the things that I'm trying to do. So, uh, But it is something that maybe one day I'll, I'll have more time to do and, and put time into. But... Uh, I have been able to do that a little bit. I've been enjoying making some Lethal Company like compilations of like when we're playing. Mm -hmm. I, those have been fun to make, and I think they're funny. Yeah. Personally, I yeah. don't know if anyone else thinks they're funny, um, but I like them. So uh, check those out on my YouTube if you get a chance. Uh, uh, the throughout all of last year, I me i started in like late january of last year so it's almost been a year at this point and red shell started probably six months or five months ago um we both started pretty being pretty committed to learning some japanese uh because we were taking a, a japanese trip in october and we did do that trip it was so great mm -hmm. we had a time of our life it's great um really really going to remember that for a long long time very uh kind of like life-changing trip i think so um and in the meantime i've been pretty intensely studying japanese and um and at the time when i was doing this and right around this time i was like i should play some japanese video games and so i picked up ace attorney and i played the first chapter of ace attorney in japanese and it was really hard to like translate everything live and um i got through the first case probably halfway through the first case and i was like this is just it just feels like it's going so slow because mm -hmm. i'm taking so long to translate yeah and i i kind of concluded at the end of all of that uh the end of ace attorney that i needed to wait till i was better to try to do that mm -hmm. game <laughs> Because I just wasn't good enough at mm -hmm. Japanese to like sit there and play yeah. that game and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, you know, if you ever learn a language, and especially Japanese, there's kind of a like, how do you balance like doing something like that with yeah. like reading a textbook or like memorizing vocabulary? Yeah. Um, and I think I've come to find out in this last year that. You really need to get to a point um, in, like, actual, like, studying, studying, where you're, like, memorizing vocabulary, learning grammar, mm -hmm. learning the learning the writing system, all these other things. You need to get to that point, and then you need to be able to, like, then at that point, you need to then go out and immerse yourself in stuff like video games, and then you can enjoy it. But you need to get good enough to enjoy it. And yeah. when I tried Ace Attorney, I was not good enough to enjoy it. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, next game I think is one of I think is one of our games of the year. But it's mm. probably not the game of the year for me. But it is one of the games of the year because mm. we played it for so stinking long. <laughs> yeah, <that's long. laughs> because we played both the regular game and the DLC oh. was uh, Resident Evil Four. Yeah the castle one better yeah so. i like this one too um let's watch some clips seems like you got a lot of creeps to worry about like that doesn't sound like something like a compliment it's like not a compliment <laughs> what i don't know we were talking about how he he said there's got you got a lot of creeps to worry about i guess Malkara thought it was like mm. being kind of funny really when i was doing creepy. i was being a creep Look at Red Shell's face. What? Oh, wait. The light is wrong. That's, oh, hamburger huh. in Spanish. What? The light is wrong. 
I'm watching your face. Watching your face. Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I turned the quotes off. Uh, one second. I turned them off yesterday, too, Grim Days. <laughs> and you said, quote, and I was like, I'm going to turn Streamlabs chatbot on because Grim Days missed the quote. So just, just one second. One second. No it's quotes. starting up. There's no quotes. There's no quotes. No quotes yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, this go. guy's got a giant, giant bell. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my gosh. I just, the, the way that that is, that's because of, that's because of, uh, um, uh, Sin blades, because he always quotes me out of context, saying something that I'm not saying. Okay. I'm sure I said that. But that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like our friend Adam from college. Yeah. That's how I imagine sin oh, blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's watch this clip again. Okay. The light is wrong. Oh, hamburger in Spanish is the light is wrong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You get so scared. The guy's creepy. There's some good jump scares in yeah, Resident Evil really 4. Is. They do a good job with that. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to ask for forgiveness when this is all over. Because I'm about to kill. <laughs> Not like that. Oh, that was good. Oh, wow. Wow. Did I just win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got to the end of this game, and Redshell just shot him with a rocket launcher yeah, and, like, easy. beat it. I was pro, like, what the gamer. heck? Pro gamer. Yeah, you were a pro gamer. Real gamers go. I don't know what my card is. Hey. My car likes to quip when I make funny sounds, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know what other Resident Evil 4. Did I just win, is what you said? Like a creep. Um, yeah, so Resident Evil 4 is great. I love these games. Um, such a good time. They're fun. Yeah, I like the Resident Evil games. Um, me and Grim Days played some Remnant 2. I had a really fun time with Remnant, and I want to play more, but uh, I like I said, like a lot of other things, it's like, whatever reason, we just found other things. I really like that. Like, we only played, like, I felt like only, like, 5% of that game. <laughs> yeah, me too, Grim Days. We should play more. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I really like this game. I mean, I, I, I don't know where... I don't know why it's not more popular. Yeah, we said, yeah, someday we'll play it. He's not the best planner. I'm a bad planner. He's really bad. Um, we'll do it. We'll do it, though. We'll, <laughs> it's someday. like, it's kind of like, well, at this point, it's like, oh, would I rather play Lethal Company or would I rather play Remnant? It's like, hmm, Lethal Company is pretty fun right now. So, mm. yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like what's, what's in your head, you know? And I mm. think that. Yeah, Lethal Company is hot right now. Yeah, yeah, Lethal Company is hot, so right, hot now. right now. So hot right now. So hot right now. Hansel. Hansel. Uh, yeah. So I do. I did really like Remnant too. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I liked solving the little puzzles, going around. It felt like a really competent, cool shooter. Um, that was challenging. It was good for like cooperative play. I really liked it. It was great. Um, I have no complaints about Remnant mm. too. Uh, the next game we played was Planet of Lana, yeah. which yeah. I've got one clip from Planet of Lana here. I know I do somewhere. The cat one? The cat one. Yeah, that the, was funny. The cat just, like, zipped up. This is a, a game uh, mess up or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. So, in this one, um, <laughs> the cat just freaks out. I accidentally got stuck. I like this game. I ended up finishing it. I don't know. Did I finished finish it on stream? Mm -hmm. I must have. I know I finished the game. 
it was good, but it wasn't. It's like what you said earlier. It's like it wasn't. It was no limbo. It was no. Yeah. It's hard to like be as good as like those play day games. Yeah, those, those are great. Um, but that might be cool. It was. I think this is better than Somerville. Maybe one day you can show me. Thing. What just happened? <laughs> launched him. You launched him? Where did it go? What Where just happened? You launched him? Where did it go? Just happened. <laughs> you can show me. Let's watch this in slow mo, cause so she clicks the thing. The cat starts to walk out, walk out, and then she closes the door again. Right away, and the cat just whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Launched him? Where did it go? What just happened? Okay, I failed. <laughs> he just went to, things. went to heaven. <laughs> what is that? I think that was a glitch. He's like, zoom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Uh, we already talked about observation duty. I guess we could talk about all the Chilla's Arts game that we hmm. played this time. Um, yeah. We played three Chilla's Arts game. We played uh, yeah. top Parasocial. Was the coffee shop, top. Uh, Parasocial's next, then the convenience store. Dude, we didn't play the coffee shop this year, but like, I yeah, think that is that is the best one that they have. Yeah. Um, Parasocial was good. Mm -hmm. I liked the Parasocial good. game. Yeah. We went and played the convenience store one, and I had a really bad first night of playing that game because we had like. I don't know what it was, but we had like all the filters on that game, mm. and uh, that along with like the mouse was like overly sensitive, and like so there's a lot of spinning around when we were playing it and walking around. There's like like a really severe head bob, and that combined with I feel like I was like that first night I was like not in a good state for whatever reason, and we got done playing it, and I was like motion sick i was like oh mm. i don't know I, I don't get that way when we play like any first person game like i don't get that way but i i felt bad mm. playing uh mm. the that that uh convenience store game um what about the kidnap what did you think about the kidnap chillas art game mm. uh mm, tied with the convenience store convenience okay. store i yeah. thought it was better than convenience okay. store but i yeah. thought it was not as it's yeah. definitely not as good as Parasocial. Yeah. So Chilla's Art does have... We're probably not going to have time to play it tonight, but Chilla's Art does have a uh, a new game that we'd like to play on Spouse Stream. Yeah, we'll try it. Or not necessarily Spouse Stream. Spouse Stream has kind of become like every stream, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> we're we're just gonna I've we're just doing over. you've taken over no you're the best part of my stream if this is my stream you're the best you're the best character in the stream mm, absolutely absolutely um so uh but parasocial and uh the kidnap convenience store i really like chill's art games i think they're pretty creative <clears throat> there's other ones that we haven't played but there is a new one called uh jisatsu which mm. means suicide mm. in Japanese. And so I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I know. 2023 like, was a big year. I know, yeah. Talking Rachel's about like, these... we played so many games. There's so many. Um, there's still a few more to talk about. Not that many more, just a few more. <laughs> uh, we don't have to talk about RE4 DLC. We already no, talked about no. RE4. We, uh, there's, uh, we just talked about all the Chilla's Arts games yeah, all at once. So like, even though there's a bunch of those check, on check, our list. Check, 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 check. I do have a funny clip to watch here okay. um, of another one that we played. Also, the Chilla's Arts games is the most scared I've ever been in a video game. The one where the stroller comes around the bottom of oh. the stairway. I don't think. I've I don't know. Ever this been one, more this clip coming up is Ugh. pretty. I don't like this one. Pretty good. I don't like this one. So, we played a game called Greener Grass Awaits. And this is a really funny game. This horror golfing game. 
It's weird. It was weird. It's hard. This is like the this is like oh, look, I'm right over from myself. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is like peak indie like creepiness, but our peak like indie like uh creativeness, I think. It's like whoever came up with this idea was super smart. <laughs> this game wasn't even on Steam. It was like on like um oh, what's it called? Uh uh shoot, I can't remember. Um it was on like um What's the platform called? I don't know. It's I'm blanking on it. I'm blanking on it. Um, I, I, Hio, yeah. So it's like a it's like true indie, like right. It was it's a a true true indie game. Um, but this is the clip of uh, Red Shell getting jump scared. That's pretty you funny. Put us back. Oh shoot! Sorry. <laughs> This was so stressful. I couldn't do it. Yeah, these guys were like trying so hard. chasing I can't after do this. you when you weren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> she threw the mouse. Your mouse went, her mouse went flying. <laughs> She's like, woo! Like, um, like, hurry up and set up the. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> and Grim Day's Grim laughing. Days. <laughs> Grim Day's in her chat showing appearance um yeah that was, that game was too hard for me but it was interesting yeah the game was so, <laughs> so fun i liked it too um uh let's see okay we played the star wars game we had some funny times with star wars <laughs> but uh I never want to watch or play anything Star Wars or Marvel ever oh, again. Oh, this is actually, oh, this clip I thought was a Fallen, Jedi Fallen Order was actually a... Uh, oh, I love this clip. This is great. A funny um, clip from... So we know this guy in real life, and yeah. I felt bad that I yelled at him, but yeah, this so, is so funny. <laughs> yeah, so we, we do know um, our friend uh, our friend Sam, yeah. who, who's... Uh, major. Major, major, major. Yeah. And um, we've played uh, Overcooked with him before. I'll watch anything Spider-Man. That's about it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. the same as you. I'll watch anything Batman, though. That's the only thing that I will consider. Batman. Batman's not, Batman Batman's not Marvel, though. Yeah, no more Marvel or or uh, Star Wars. Oh, ever. okay. Again, no more. Yeah. But DC's okay? Sure. Because Batman. But only Batman. But only Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we were playing Overcooked, and um, we didn't know who each other characters were, and Red Shell ended up yelling at... Uh, she thought she was yelling at me, and she <laughs> yelled at... She was yelling at uh, my, our friend, Major, and that was pretty funny. <laughs> I thought this was really funny. Yeah, this was funny. This might be the clip of the year. <laughs> this one's done. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, you dropped that? Whoever's the eagle... Knocked me off. <laughs> 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 she called me out. The narrator should come in here and say, "Aqua Two is out." No, I'm it not turns watching out, Aquaman Two. It turns out, Banjo was not the eagle. Who's that? This is Major. <laughs> Don't yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> she was ready to yell at me. Now she's embarrassed. <laughs> okay, you can yell. <laughs> We were joking about working at a restaurant. Yeah. I don't, I don't smoke. I've never smoked anything in my life. So. <laughs> never smoked anything in my life. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I saw there was like an interview with um, some actress. Uh, shoot, what's her name? <laughs> yeah. I need a smoke break. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Shoot. She was in like a Disney show. Um, Miranda Cosgrove. I don't she's know who a, that is. She's in like a Disney show. She's 30, so she's a lot younger than us. But she went on like a podcast and said she's never smoked or drank before, and people like got all freaked out at her. Why? I don't know. They're like, who cares? Oh, she doesn't like fun. And it's like, oh, you only, uh, it's like, I would what? question the person that's like, oh, you can only have fun if you're like drinking or like yeah. s smoking weed. It's like, yeah. all right, well, it's like, I think. That might enhance you having fun, but like if yeah. that's the only way you have fun, I'm like, what? Mm. <laughs> Sounds anyway. like you might be an alcoholic. <laughs> maybe, maybe. 
Well, anyway, yeah. Like, I think that's, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, people have different philosophies in life, you know, whatever. Some people drink a lot and smoke a lot, whatever, you know. It's, it's it, not for me. Yeah, it's not for everybody. <laughs> um, but I love that clip. I loved it. I love that I got caught, too. That yeah, was great. that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the clip of the year. That might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. We did have a lot of funny, like, uh, uh, I thought we had some better, like, Jedi Fallen Order clips, too. Yeah. Clip is too long. See, I'm so bored, I'm iPhoning. <laughs> <laughs> Bogdo, Bogdo. I'm gonna click to the end. Go to the end. Oh, got him. I didn't even get hit once that time. Destroyed. Bogdo, Bogdo. Bogdo, Bogdo. Banjo starts bragging. Oh, yeah, this is pretty funny, too. I like this one, too. Mm. <laughs> he can't help himself. He no, can't I'm trying to himself. teach you how to do it. Don't go that way. Oops. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about backseating. Why is there a cliff there? Yeah, why would there be a cliff? Yeah, there? why? You died, yeah. Wait, That's did we watch this? Oh, no, we did watch this one. Hmm? No, we did one. And the rest of all of our clips is Lethal Company clips. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you died. Um, so we already talked about Dark Pictures. Okay, I guess I'll talk a little bit about Fort Solace. I played Fort Solace with you and me, and we were so bored that first day. We played Fort Solace, and we were so bored. Is that one of the ones so where bored. I was falling asleep? Um, <laughs> that was uh, the one where I fell asleep on camera, and I was embarrassed about that. Oh, were you... Yeah. On Fort Solace? I don't know. One of the ones I fell asleep. I don't remember which one. One of the boring games that yeah. I made you play? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Fort Solace, um, so I don't have any clips of Fort Solace, so we can watch that trailer, but... Um, of course, it's autoplane. Yeah, you probably were asleep the whole time. This is Jack Leary, senior engineer. I, probably was. I think I did fall asleep in this one. Jack? Just Solace is locked down. Be careful. I think he sounds like Trey Parker. It's really funny. Mm. He's doing no sign of anyone. It is him. Please tell me you didn't remove your helmet. It's not natural to wear it that long. It's not natural. Why would someone remove the power supply? Hello? Make contact? Uh I think there may have been an incident here. Hey, hey, that's what happened in the game last night. There's just like a blood smear on the floor. Like this... you, were, you were there, and then blood. And then there was a blood smear. Yeah, and you were not there. I know. I got brackened. Yep. This actor is uh, the same guy that played uh, I can't remember his name, Geralt in Witcher Three. He's like one of the most famous voice what? actors. Oh, I thought you meant what's his name, the actor. No, 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 oh. no. Like the the voice actor for Geralt, oh, okay. um, like one of the most famous voice voice actors in um, video games, oh. and his name his name escapes me right now. But he played this character, oh. and he did a really good job. The acting in this game was really, really good. In fact, everything about this game was good. But here's my butt, the big butt in the room. Uh. The problem is that it was essentially a walking simulator. Mm -hmm. And so it relied very heavily on the story. Mm -hmm. And if the gameplay, this is my, this is my argument about like walking simulator games is like, if you made the gameplay good, then it can be good. If you make the gameplay, I think get bad gameplay can make a good story game worse Mm -hmm. But no gameplay means that you are now only paying attention to the story. Oh, yeah. Right? True. It's like watching a movie. And it's mm -hmm. kind of it begs the question, why even making this a, a movie video game? A movie that takes too long. Yeah. <laughs> why are you making this a video game? Just make it a movie, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
And and the problem with this is that I felt like the ending, without spoiling too much. We played the whole ending. I played it to the very end. Oh, you played it. Oh. Yeah, I played it on stream actually. Oh. I played this on a stream. Like I started streaming this during the day when I was home. Oh. Um, oh. when I was home on that week before Christmas. Oh, okay. So I uh, I streamed this game. I finished it up because I, I was like, I want to finish this game. I want to see what's going on with it. And it was like one game in my list where I was like, I could play this by myself. Red Shell doesn't care about it, so I can play without you. And it's something that I would like to just kind of see it through to the end. And it was very good until the end. And then the end, the story was like, what? (laughs) The story just ended. It like had me like, what? What just happened? And then I like went and looked up the endings, the other endings and the other like what was supposed to happen and what was going on and still very, very unsatisfied. Like what I saw was what was going on and it was just really unsatisfied. Like I actually got the good ending Mm -hmm. and I was like, that was the good ending. And then I like looked back at it and I was, I was very, like I said, like it relied so much on the story and I feel like the narrative didn't pay off. Mm -hmm. The acting was incredible the visuals were amazing. Um, the setting, the whole ambiance, the music was great. I loved every part of the game in, for a walking simulator except the story. And it a walking simulator relies 100% on the story. So it's mm. like, well, if I didn't like the story, I can't like this game. Mm. So, yeah. like, I would say, like, up until the final moments, I was, like, having an 8 out of 10 time. And then after the final moments, I was having a 6 out of 10 time. Mm -hmm. I was like, so what's the game? 6 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Very frustrating. I was very frustrated with the end of the game. Um, I don't know if I said as much on on stream, but after I had a time to chance to think about it, I felt, I definitely Mm -hmm. felt that way. Yeah. Um, we played a little bit of the Evil Within. I don't know if we're gonna play that game again. Um, I'd like to go back cheap, to it. Cheap Resident Evil knockoff. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give it more of a chance to see if there's something more there that is fun about it. I thought it was kind of fun, but I also felt like we hadn't really gotten into the meat of it. I don't really want to talk about it any more than that, just because it was, it was. We only did it one day. I only only did it for like one day. I I I I think that maybe we'll give it more of a chance, mm. but we'll see. Yeah. It depends on other things. I think we've got other things we want to play. Yeah. Um, Exit Eight. Uh, we played that at the end of last year. Oh yeah, creative, fun. You like Seven Exit Eight? Seven out of ten. You like the Exit Eight? Also, I have never. We could practice our kanji, and <laughs> I can never. Um, I've never like flopped on the floor because I've been so frustrated before. And I did with this. Yeah, thing. she did flop yeah, on the floor. I guess so. I was really mad. <laughs> this is a cool I think we game. We argued a lot playing this. Oh, too. we've argued a lot. Like this is like we were just like, like, what are you talking about? We argued. You're on like, like, just go back. I'm like, but I haven't seen anything. And you're like, but I know it in my head. And I'm like, why would you go back? And we were just because like, because okay. <laughs> we don't have to start. No. The argument. <laughs> this is like, ow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, sorry. I cracked, cracked your, my knuckle. I cracked your knuckle ah, a little I hate bit. That. Sorry. Sorry. Um. I think that uh, the this is like the noticing game, but like c- more creative. And I liked it, but it was so frustrating to not see anything and then just uh, lose. And then I decided in my head that if you didn't see anything and it's been more than one time, that they're not going to do more than two in a row. And so we should just always go back. That was my plan. And then he wouldn't do it. And it was just, yeah, it was really frustrating. <laughs> But we beat it eventually. We did it. Yeah, we did. Yep. After we looked up on the internet and cheated. So. We cheated. We. I wouldn't say we cheated. We did cheat. We looked at a Never list. Never would have seen some of the stuff. We looked at a list yeah. of the things. And we had noticed up to that point when we looked at the list, we had noticed like. 18 out of the 20 things Mm -mm. and then there was like two other things yeah so there's two other things that that we hadn't seen yet there was the one where the face was on the ceiling yeah we We never never noticed never would have saw that and we didn't like that i can't remember the other one Um, 
Oh, the signs getting bigger. Yeah. That was Never the other one. Never would have noticed that either. The signs yeah. getting bigger was another one. That was impossible. And I feel like maybe would have noticed the signs at some point if we kept playing, but... Um, and then once I once we knew that yeah, we went we back to the game the next day we could and we like saw everything. Yep, which is really funny. If we didn't look anything up, we would have just kept going forever and never won. I think that so. it would have been interesting to see if we would have noticed the signs or the face for that matter. I think the problem with the reason it's cheating to me isn't because we knew uh, the two things that we noticed. It's when you don't know what the things that can happen are. You look at everything. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at like <clears throat> the words on the sign. And I'm mm -hmm. like, nothing changed about those. Yeah. Once we knew that, we're like, oh, we don't have to look at the posters at all. Really. Right, right. Yeah. And so, or we were thinking like, oh, maybe it depends if you like stop. Like it, it, it makes, it makes you, uh, huh. if you stop and wait, like it'll fail you for that, for that run or like something like that. And that wasn't true either. Um, it was just, it was literally just trying to see stuff in yeah. the hallway, and that was but it. But it was fun. I liked it. Uh, last two games. The games we probably played the most this year. Phasmophobia. Oh. I played a ton oh, of Phasmo this last year. Yeah. Especially at the beginning of the year. Less at the end of the year. Um, we've come back to Phasmo for, like, the challenges, like the Easter and Halloween and Christmas challenge. Those are fun. Those fun. were fun. 10 that, out of 10. Yeah. Halloween challenge, 10 out of 10. Yeah, the fun. Halloween challenge was yep. really fun. Um, Easter, 7. Christmas, 6. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that... Main game, four. <laughs> main game, four? Yeah. Because uh, once you do everything, what's the point of doing it? It's like, there's no point in keeping it, like, continuing to do it once you've seen everything, I don't think. But, yeah, true. But um, finding the stuff and making the potion was super fun. I loved that. Yeah. It's also like... A, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Organizing. Like, can you tell that I like organizing games? I know, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I think I think you are really... Yeah, you gotta find more of those. Yeah, you are really good at that, um, and you're really into that stuff. I'm trying to see. I, I made a clip of of us, of you guys tricking me in Phasmo. Oh, that's funny. That was pretty funny, yeah. I'll, I'll play this now. <laughs> this was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys haven't seen this. Okay, okay, now, now we just, just need a screaming skull, skull which there's several skeletons around, but I'll hit it with something. Hit it, I'll, I'll hit it with a bowling ball. One back. Yeah. Are you just holding a bowling ball? I was going to hit this. <laughs> I'm trying to hit this uh. thing. <laughs> oh, he dropped something. I got it. <laughs> totally came from behind. Did that actually work? Okay. Oh. oh dang. That was a cool challenge. They, well, they they should focus on Halloween. Ben, do I have something to confess? What? The caveman actually found the skull and gave it to me, <laughs> and I threw it at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> he dropped something. <laughs> what? That was so funny. Yeah, that was good. I was like the best prank. Yeah. I've I've been pranked like that in a while. That was so good. Um Yeah, Phasmophobia is always fun. I think at the beginning of the year I did a lot of like the I was trying to do the apocalypse challenge. I, I actually think I might if there's ever a day when you're like, I am gonna go read in bed, like I'm gonna leave you alone. Like that might be something I'd be like, okay. Here's something that I know that Red Shell is not interested in. Leave you alone? <laughs> no, I mean, you're going to, I'm going to leave you alone. Like, wow. you leave me alone. I'm going to go leave off and do alone? something. No. Well, then there's three other people that need attention, though. No, I mean, at, <laughs> at night or something, if they're sleeping. Oh, I'm just oh, trying to say, okay. like, if you were, like, just done with me and you wanted me to, like, go away, <laughs> that'd be, like, that'd probably be something that, like, I would go do because oh. it's, like, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause, cause, it's so boring. Like, but it's it is a challenge and it's difficult to like finish. Um, and I did get the bronze apocalypse challenge, which I was very proud of. But I never got the silver or gold. 
And I keep thinking I should go back and get those. Ah. Every time I look at my case when we open Phasmophobia after like three months, I'm like, ah, I only have the bronze. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, sad. It is sad. Um, and of course, the last game that we play this year, which I do have a ton of clips for, is Lethal Company, which is my other probably game of the year. It's fun. Um, it nine is out of ten. Nine out of ten. Lethal Company deserves a spot. Fun. Yeah, it's a nine out of ten out of ten. It's not even finished yet, oh. and it's so much fun. So is I it? I'm so impressed with this game. I like I to wanna... find stuff and get things. So that's one thing I like. Yeah. Social. It, I like that. Yeah, I like the social side funny. of it. Funny. Social and funny. It's social. It's funny. Yeah. The voice. Yeah, four player co op, oh, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. big plus. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's got such a. It's got such a, like, a cool. Like, I don't. It's like almost like, why haven't other games thought of this? Mm -hmm. Like, voice pro proximity chat has been, uh, like, ever okay. since. Ever since they started putting it in, it's it's hit mainstream prop popularity in like funny games, mm -hmm. in funny ways since Among Us, mm. probably. And obviously, it's been in other games before that. But like for an indie game like this to like have proximity chat, I guess you didn't really see it in a lot of indie games. It's probably more of a thing in like like big AAA like. FPS games or something. Um, but I also like how the rounds are kind of short. So it's not like you're doing something for a super long time. Like the other Valheim or whatever, it's like the, there was no end in sight to that. It was like right. way too long. Well, that was my big problem with Sea yeah. of Thieves. Like Sea oh, of Thieves yeah. was just like you get into a crew of Sea of Thieves and like you didn't you didn't know if it was going to be 2 hours or 5 hours. It's like mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way Among Us I was, short, too. I have a short attention span, though, so I don't know if I'm the best, like, person to comment on well, that. But... but, I mean, I think that... That's... that. I mean, I, I've got a longer attention span than you, but, like, something like Sea of Thieves, like, drives me crazy. Because yeah. I'm like, I can't stop? Like, what do you mean I can't stop? Yeah. Yeah. It's, but, like, um... it's like back in the day, like, rating and wow. It's like, I can't stop right now. I have to... I'm committed for the next four hours or something. You're like, like mm -hmm. why, why? I don't want to do anything for four hours. Yeah. Um. But uh. Oh, Grim Days. I was telling. I was telling Banjo today that I was having a great time spectating you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because after like I would die in some spectacular way, and then it would always go to you. Maybe it's like proximity. Who you're next to is who you spectate. I don't know. I don't know how that works. It's probably just the next person. But I was really like... enjoying it because you would like just talk to yourself and be like, "Well, I couldn't really help her, but that's okay. I guess I'll keep going." I don't know. It's just really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I was having a great time. <laughs> I liked yeah. your comments. Yeah. Grim Day's inner voice is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, this clip uh, is Red Shell getting blown up. Oh, great. We can enjoy. Okay, okay we're going in. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, oh, Red Shell, watch out. There's a mine. Oh, my god. I die all the time, Grim Days. Look at this. Here's the examples. Oh. Oh. Legend of the Bud, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that was I drown. Funny. I go. I all stuff happens to me. I fall off cliffs. This is really loud. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay. <laughs> I get so scared here. Go to this open room. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Hopefully that was. Oh my good. god! That what scared the, the crap, crap out of me. Help! Oh my gosh! Banjo. I like got so jump scared there. That was crazy. I'm gonna grab it and then oh, there's a red soda bottle. Do you wanna grab that? I clipped this because oh, I saw the little here. girl. You wanna grab this bottle? And I was like, so I played some random lobbies. Oh, oh really? Yeah, how'd that go? Are Which... random lobbies good? Are people crazy or stupid? <laughs> I mean, they're always stupid, but. Um, you can see the uh, little girl. Was it girl children? Was it a bunch uh, of children? I'm gonna have to leave something. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Let's just. I don't leave know if ahead. this is like as much of a like kids a game kid as game? like Among mm -hmm. Us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Do you guys have extra key? Uh, no, no, we don't. Oh shit! I heard. I heard something. something. Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that one time too. She's there. First started, it was really fun, like around Christmas time. Oh, okay. 
It was fun to be with the the random people. Yeah, that's creepy. Everyone was really cool and not hardly any trolls or people being jerks. Oh wow. Yeah, like that's, that's awesome. It's like if you get into a game when it's like this level, it's good. Yeah. If it gets too popular, it starts filling up with the with the the people that you don't really want to play with. Mm. Oh, oh, it's, it's the, the girl. girl. It's, it's the, the girl. girl. Uh. <laughs> it's the girl. A Christmas horror. Like I said, we're probably gonna die doing this. Yeah. I'll try to get your body. Oh, this okay. was funny. Oh, so the trick is on the other side. It's probably gonna grab me. Oh, 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 it's a soldier. Oh. That was the first time we'd seen it, and I was like, what? We were like, there was so much anticipation to opening that door. Because Ankh was like, I hear something behind that door. And then, like, I went down there, and I could hear it going, like, grr, 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 like, talking. I was like, it sounds like it's, like, this alien on a radio or something, mm. you know? I was like, what is that? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's something new. It's definitely something new. What is it? And we're like, well, let's just open the door and see what it is. And we didn't know what it was, or what it could be. And it's just, like, he opened the door and just, like, Immediately came out and shot me. It was crazy. That was like, that was so surprising. What's this one? What the hell is that stopping noise? I don't think I've heard that before. Mm. It might be something new. Who wants to walk into the mysterious fog? <laughs> Let's do it. It's like fog without a, a valve. Oh! oh my Come back, come back, come back! Oh, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I screamed so loud. Why are you screaming like that? <laughs> I was actually scared! <laughs> I was laughing so hard at that because I was like, ah! <laughs> I get lost too, Grim Days. I, the, the forest level. I was just walking around aimlessly for like 20 minutes in the forest. <laughs> it was really annoying. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Monster! Yeah. Monster! I, I think this thing that scared me about that was that I closed the door thinking it would keep it out and it just immediately <laughs> opened it. <laughs> I was like, no! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's oh, behind us. It's behind us. Don't, don't look, look at it. it. Don't stare at oh. it. Don't stare at oh, it. Oh, my don't mic wasn't don't working. Huh? What? Don't stare at it. Your mic is not working. Okay. You I died early. Oh, that. you did? <laughs> you were spectating that? <laughs> that was probably really boring because I was like, I don't know where I am. Keep him out. It was so confusing. I like how Grim Day said in this, like, he's like, keep him out. <laughs> keep him out. <laughs> I also think the next clip of Grim Days is really funny too. Like, he's like, "This happened that same match. This is when the um the Bracken just like wiped our group. It killed me there, and then it killed. Actually, I have a YouTube vi I have a YouTube video of this too that would kind of summarize it up. Lethal comedy, more like it. It's so funny. <laughs> I just love this game. Every part of that is like, it. Every part of it is just." So funny. I I can't wait to see what they're gonna put in next too. Like it's just been so entertaining. Um, let me try to find this because this like really summarizes like what happened. <laughs> I really like uh how um I really liked how Grim Days was like um keep them out. <laughs> And then in this, yeah, and then they this, should do bigger. Mm -hmm. 
We can you can put there's a mod to make a, the group. I don't want to do that. No, I don't. You don't want to put a no, mod. No, I want to do the regular game. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that stuff. Well, I mean, you could just install the mod that lets six people in. No. No, no. that's weird. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Oh, it's, oh, it's behind, behind us. us. It's behind us. Don't, don't look, look at it. it. Don't stare. Oh, don't stare at it. Don't stare at it. Don't, don't stare. Okay. I don't know what to do about that. We just watch this one. This is part of the calculation that I created. Give him out. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, no, oh, got it. It. <laughs> oh no. Uh, looks like an oh. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! It's got me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he said, ah, it's got oh, no. me. Flashlight. I don't know where to go. Oh, behind oh, you. It's really dark. I have no flashlight. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's sneaking up behind Red Shell as she's walking. We're in dead chat. <laughs> Don't look behind you. <laughs> just, uh, more people only helps you slightly with so sneaking. Funny how he's like going. Sneak. Yeah. But there's more interactions, right? <laughs> The she should have looked behind her. She should have looked behind her. I don't know. I yeah. don't have the skills to do that. I just go forward. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, if you look at it, it won't kill you. Oh. I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you'd like look at it really quick. Mm, mm. It's like... Yeah, the crosstalk is what's, is what's fun about the game. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, and then this is the clip that I think Malkara took of us yesterday, which is pretty funny. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Red shell? I'm in the water right now. Red shell? You're like, oh! And it's like oxygen levels going down. I'm like, I don't know what to do. She just walked right into the crater. I fell in the water. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to get out of that. No, I don't think there was. I was trying hard. <laughs> you just walk on the ground with the water. There's no I swimming. In. I couldn't. Yeah. We don't have swim lessons. I don't know, I don't know what to do. It's hard. <laughs> So those are the games that we oh, played this yeah. year. That was, a lot. Oh, I know, we played a lot, didn't we? Most of them are five and above. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, I think, I think that... Only a couple <clears throat> like this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't spend too much time on those games. I know, he should have, he should have, but how would he know? How oh, would he know that I don't know that if we had a, I don't think we had a teleporter at that point. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We did? Okay, yeah. We did have one. Oh, yeah, because like, oh, I teleported you back when we, we got... You should have radioed to him, teleport her. I don't think the radio was... Someone, whoever had the radio was dead. It's your fault. It's somehow my fault. Yeah. It has to be. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it was... Uh, it was a good year for games, for sure. I enjoyed a lot of these games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always my fault, no, no matter what. You're supposed to help me. I, I'm supposed to. I, I was with you. Doing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I know. You just walked right. I should have warned you about that uh, crater that was right in front of you. That was gaping. The gaping hole that was clearly right. In front of you. I don't know. <laughs> Teleport red shell. Well, yeah. I didn't. I didn't yeah. have. No one had a radio. I'm drowning. Either I, I didn't have like a radio, or seconds. the person. I knew that the person on the other end didn't have a radio, so. Hmm. There should be a radio just automatically in the ship. You yeah. The radio back to the ship. There's a, um, one of the, I, I, I know you don't want to play the mods, but one of the mods <laughs> puts the radio in like. I don't like the idea of mods. They like have an extra inventory slot for the radio only. Oh. And then you okay. just have the radio, like, so you're not having to like shuffle all the other things around but yeah. it's like kind of like that's a little bit cheap i think mm. or maybe it's the flashlight or not the radio but well that's kind of yeah that's not how it works yeah it's not how the game works mm. if you want a flashlight you can't maybe you could much. find a backpack when you're walking that's what i keep thinking That'd i was like good. i'd be cool if like you could find a a thing that like things that help you upgrade you one like spot mm -hmm. and you're like oh man yeah i can carry one more and thing awesome extra mm-hmm but then I like they have to think about the weight stuff, like how heavy stuff is. They'd have mm. to like scale it. I mean, they could easily do that. Yeah. They could make it. Oh. So you only walk. Freak me on. Yeah. Only walk so slow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Or what rope. If, 
I, I do think that uh, right after you're like, oh, what if you could fo follow find a flashlight in the dungeon and then we found that lamp? I was like, well, yeah, this yeah, is perfect. I like a flashlight. Let's take a flashlight. Mm. I really don't lamp. like that when you pick up the big items, it obscures your vision because I can't. I already have trouble like walking around, and mm. it makes it really hard for me. Do you so. feel like you wanted to? You want to be in like third person view? I feel like a game mm. should not be in third person view. I don't know. It's better in, F in first person because it's just scarier that way. I just don't like that, that they're blocking the field. No, I hear what you're saying with that. Like when you carry like the big engine, you mean, mm -hmm. and stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Or the bottle that like makes the, sh the flashlight not as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like shining through the bottles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to play yeah. Monday, yeah. Monday. Monday or Wednesday, yeah. I got, I got my speaking homework Monday. Oh, yeah. Monday at 8? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> well, we could. Yeah. Yeah. It depends how you feel after. Your I'm gonna be gone or... Friday. You guys should do the game that you said you wanted. Oh to yeah, do. yeah. That's right. I can I'm do going Phasmo. to Savannah, Georgia, on Friday, and I'm gonna go for a couple days, just two days. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be really fun. Yeah, that'll be really cool. That'll be cool for you. <laughs> <laughs> You can go next time. You plan something. I know. Go, go somewhere. <clears throat> yeah. Do it. Wednesday I have comedy, but depending on whether it may get canceled. Ah, I, mm, I hear that. Mm. Yeah. We'll try to do Monday for sure. Um, we don't have... I don't have work on Monday, so I'm going to be well rested. I have to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's okay. Do. Yeah, so... If Red Shell gets her speaking homework done and she feels like she's not super busy after all that, then... Um, wants to play then we'll 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 do something that that mm -hmm. night that should be fun yeah but uh, those were the games of 2023 they were good i i feel like 2023 was a, a good year of gaming i i think especially with um my two favorite are tears of the kingdom and lethal company were my favorites mm -hmm. tears of the kingdom being like a triple a kind of game but mm -hmm. um yeah i think uh there's several other really good games that came out I really enjoyed. So I, I really had a fun time playing our Resident Evil games. Mm -hmm. And um, even yeah. though it, I don't think it yeah, was as good. Fun. I don't think as Yeah, God of War 2 came out and I never played it. <laughs> I really liked God of War 1. I think maybe, but the maybe problem it is... it doesn't need a sequel. The problem is, is that God of War 1, I, w I would want you to play the first one. What? But God of War 1 is... Like, I think I could, maybe we should play God of War 1, and you can play on, like, a story mode. Because it is kind of a hard game. Mm, mm. It's a very, like, Dark Souls-esque, but it's got, like, a a super easy mood, mode on it. Mm -hmm. Like, story mode, where you just kind of walk through the game and, like, just do stuff, and you can barely take damage. Mm. Yeah, we should play Last of Us 2. I want to play that. I'm just a little worried. <laughs> I'm alerted. I'm worried about that. Because I don't, I know zero things about it i've only seen one trailer i don't i don't yeah, know anything so i sold but I he told, told me that it's gonna ruin the story and no I'm, i didn't I say that i didn't <laughs> say that you're <laughs> misquoting me i did not say it because i'm like invested I, in the characters and she so I don't, is an invested in an idea of the characters and i said i think because i haven't played last of us 2 mm -hmm. either and i don't know everything about it i've heard a few things about it mm -hmm. so i do know some spoilers Mm. But that's not why I'm not even talking about spoilers. That's I'm what talk, you said, though. You said no. I'm not even talking ruin about spoilers. Your view of the characters. I'm not talking about spoilers. I'm talking about the the hints that I've heard. I'm really worried that it's going to change your. Yeah, I know. I know some of the spoilers are wrong. Uh. I do know that. I knew though some of the spoilers are wrong too. But like, it's going to change the perspective of the characters. That like. She was saying, she was like talking about. I loved the game. And then after we watched the show, I loved, like, I am like obsessed with the dad daughter relationship. I just love it. I just think it's really great. And I really like the actors that played in the show. I thought they did a really yeah. good job. They have such a sweet. So I'm loving like, it. Kind of... <laughs> and I just, yeah, like, so don't she ruin said, that for me. <laughs> she's like, don't ruin that dad daughter relationship for yeah. me. I'm like, and I was trying to say, I was like, but don't you think there is like some sort of. 
Mm-hmm. They're uh, don't so you good. think that there is like a flaw in the in the relationship that they have because he has basically at the end of the first game like told such a big lie like there's a there's like a there is a there is a a gap that's formed like i think mm-hmm. that's like if you end the last of us the first last of us you have to recognize that in a way that was a really tragic ending mm. I'm not saying it's all happy. I really liked it because the story was interesting and complex. But I, it's, I think it gets even it, more complex, I don't want and it, it to gets get even more like. So I'm worried about that because you said that, and I'm like. Mm. Well, I just think that you have to think about the characters are not going to stay the same in a sequel. The, like, the characters are great, and the actors they chose to play them were perfect. Do you so. see like how the characters changed throughout the first game? Or the first story, like the characters changed, they developed, they they yeah. they went from one thing to the next. They yeah. started to trust each other. They became friends. They they went from he went from rejecting her to like completely accepting her to kind of almost being like a little psychotic about it, mm. you know, like in his protection of her, mm. right? Like almost like he's bringing all of his mental health down on her mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. wanting to protect her and. And it's like, there's so much there that I think if you start into the second game. We should do it. I just We should play it. If I'm upset, it's okay. It's yeah, like, you, might, you I, might be upset. It is a story. Sometimes and I watch movies that make me mad or upset. It's okay. It might make you upset. It might make you... I, I, do I think... I, the thing I don't know is I do think that you might be upset. <laughs> but I also think that... There is going to be, but I don't know if you're going to be upset in the way where it's like, I hate this game. Mm. Or are you going to be upset in a way like that move, that movie or that game like just touched me in a way. Mm. But I don't think like it made me happy, but it made me feel something, feel something that I think was important. Well, I wasn't invested until we watched the show. I liked the game. It was fine. But I was like invested after the show. yeah the the, like, the, the same yeah. stuff is gonna happen in the show unless yeah. they, they depart wildly well, i don't know if story. i want to watch the show then it, i don't want them to mess up <laughs> it's like yeah so do, would you rather watch it in video i feel like it'll probably, probably be a little game for, it might lessen the blow if i do yeah. the video game first <laughs> video game for, yeah uh, yeah yeah we'll do it well, well and yeah, then we'll you'll play. be like i don't even want to watch the show i might not want to uh yeah mm-hmm yeah. yeah, I felt like the show was pretty. Um, they did same, a few extra. Much the same as the game. They did yeah. a few extra things in the show Just that like I think was bit. from the DLC that we did not play. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of the scenes with her and the um, the girl she knew before, mm-hmm. um, those are from. I think I heard that was from like a DLC storyline. Uh, hard time recommending Last of Us Two. A lot of the marketing was straight up a lie. What what was a lie about it? Oh, what well, do don't mean? yeah, don't say oh, anything too much. Ankh. The marketing was a lie. I don't know what the What's the marketing? <laughs> yeah. We we should just play it. I mean, really We should just play it. That would be entertaining. Um I'm not going to get like really mad. I've never gotten like super mad about entertainment, I don't, but The thing the thing I I like I heard stuff about the game and I'm not like I'm not upset about it. Like I'm happy to play it actually, but um i just like the ellie joel dynamic i just like it so what i think fun. happened <laughs> sad if they change I, it. I think you know take away that there is a lot i mean well, man there's just so much to unpack with last of us um you know there <sighs> i think we should play it yeah yeah and we should play it yeah yeah. I think so. I think... Um, Whether we like it or not, we should probably play it. And also, you should probably play the game first just to see what the creator intended, right? Because maybe the show yeah. will change things, possibly. Yeah, um, Grim Days liked it. You liked it? Oh, yeah. okay. So, I don't know. I, I have to play Bioshock 2 for Grim Days as well. <laughs> the two in the... I think you'd like it. Oh. Yeah, I think I will too. I think that... 
There was so much noise around that game that I was like, I just have to not play this right now because there's just so much noise about it that I'm like, I can't really... I'm going to be thinking about the noise so much. Where I feel like now... I didn't see anything. I don't after, know I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. Because in a way, the noise sort of it tainted it. it yeah. I think. Like, I want to be able to come into it like with a sort of fresh lens. Mm. And being in the midst of like stupid Twitter arguments about this well, game. Why are you looking at it on Twitter? Like, you can't help it. You couldn't avoid it. It was everywhere. Hmm. And it was kind of like, it was filled with like stupid stuff, stuff that you're like, what? Stuff with like, did that really happen? Then you learn out later, no, Mm -hmm. or that's not true. Mm -hmm. Or like, there was a lot of stuff. And then Mm -hmm. I think when it all got boiled down and you heard, it just, you just realized that it was a really, Mm -hmm. another really complex, complicated story. It's not bad. And... I don't think it's bad. Yeah. But it is bad when they take a complex story and they just, like, ruin it for no reason, right? To, like, make people mad or to, like, yeah, shake things I don't up. Think like, that's, I don't think that's what they're doing. Yeah. I think the writer, yeah. Neil Druckmann, is telling the story he wanted to tell. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's ruining it. I don't think he's, like... <laughs> not to make not to bring in another really controversial franchise he is not doing what star wars did to like Mm. luke skywalker Mm. Mm. or like what star wars did to the series Mm. i don't think i don't get the impression that's what it is he is telling the story he wanted to tell but i think that it's kind of like what you said people got invested into an idea about characters that are written to be real and complex Mm, mm. and they're not heroes Mm. but people started thinking of them like heroes yeah yeah and i think that this is not a story about heroes this is a story about people yeah and you know people do things and heroes do do like always make their make the right choices they always do the right things in the same way, I don't think a hero would. Mm. You were disappointed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I think a lot of people were. From Days liked it. I think some other people liked it. We were, we were just saying that, like, we think, even though we think we may be disappointed, we should play it. Yeah. So. I think we should. Maybe that'll be, like, kind of one of the first games we play yeah. here soon. I think we should do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just had to mentally prepare myself because I think I it will affect me. I think that some of the things that I that are in the game. So, but at the same time, it's um, I don't think I'm gonna be. You weren't just you. You was you know. Yeah, I, I can imagine Malkara that. Like I know you're really into the RE games and like a lot of the horror genre. I think like when compared with Resident Evil, like, kind of falls flat um, in, in like, a lot of ways. Uh, especially if that's, like, the type of... I'm not saying that every game has to be, like, Resident Evil, but, like, I think that Resident Evil is really good at sort of... I don't know. It's got its, it's, got its niche of, like, good storytelling. And then Last of Us... Last of Us 1 was really, really well done. It's really, it's almost like, it's almost like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's first like, one, yeah, first one was it good. almost sets it up to, cause the last one, the, the last of us one was so good. Mm-hmm. It's like you, it's almost inevitable that you'll be disappointed. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And you could have made that argument about like Star Wars too. Mm-hmm. Like Star Wars, the original trilogy was so good that they couldn't have made mm-hmm. any follow on anything and not disappoint anyone. Yeah. Everyone. Because it's like, yeah. it's just so, it's so like established in everyone's mind mm. um, as a thing. And, uh, but, yeah. So we'll have to play it. Yeah, we'll we're going to play it. Play it. We'll I think we should it. do it. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that, that was it. I thought we might play games tonight, but I knew this was going to take too a long late. time. Yeah, too late. We've been <laughs> too talking talking. for video games for two and a half hours. Really? Yeah. 
Well, a little oh, less than that. Maybe more time. like two hours. Yeah. But So we're going to go to sleep. And back on Monday. Mm -hmm. I hope. So. Yeah. And uh, we got a Chillizard game to play. We can play Last of Us 2. That's going to be coming up soon. Um, Lethal Company maybe on Monday. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, but yeah. We'll, we'll hopefully talk to you guys then. All right. Have a very good night, everyone. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.